I think it's, I was just telling somebody yesterday, they have a first-time offensive coordinator, a first-time head coach. They'll have a brand-new quarterback. I think their offensive personnel is fantastic. It's national championship level. Their defensive personnel is young up front. They've got new coordinators, a new head coach, and a new quarterback. And the Pac-12 outside of the SEC is probably the deepest conference. So I think USC opens the season in Arlington against Alabama and gets thumped. I don't think they'll stop Alabama's offense. Uh, I think they'll beat Utah State. I think they go to Stanford, and I think they lose. And then I think they go to Utah and win close in overtime. Then they start reeling off wins at home against Arizona State, Colorado. They'll beat Arizona and California. They get Oregon at home. I think it's a pullback program. They'll beat Oregon close. They'll go to Washington. That goes either way. I think they rebound. They've got better personnel. Close win. I think they lose at UCLA. Josh Rosen emerges as the number one player in college football. And I'll say they lose at home to Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame brings back Malik Zaire. Uh, Notre Dame has to rebuild their offensive line, but Brian Kelly's a tremendous offensive coach, and by that point in the year, I think they'll have done it. Their recruiting's been very good under Brian Kelly. And I think USC is an 8-4 and four football team with losses against Alabama, at Stanford, at UCLA, and to Notre Dame. I'll give them a win at home against Oregon and at Washington. Washington's probably going to be a top 15 team next year.